Hello YouTube, we got the job of fixing this whirly gig lawn ornament thing. Okay, this popped out of there and I don't really want to weld it. You put your, your bearing goes in there and then this is on the back, that's on the front, there's a lock washer, locks the center of the bearing to this and to this with the lock washer. There's a snap ring holds the bearing in here. But this popped out of here. When we got it, uh, one side came loose. It didn't have a lock washer, which I gotta find. It was loose like the next day, the first windstorm. But it was like a 60 mile an hour wind took this thing out. It broke the pipe off. Uh, pipe went to the ground, cheap stuff like that. Folded right over at the bottom, 60 mile. You can imagine it. This thing's really too big. It's doubled. There's two of these, trust me, one on either side. So imagine that thing spinning at 60 mile an hour. You seen stop signs wave in the wind? Huh, you ain't seen that until you've seen this thing 60 mile an hour windstorm. Okay, enough of that. We do not feel like spot welding this. Okay, we don't feel like doing that. We're not going to. We're going to try to epoxy it. We do not feel like trying to get in there and spot weld that. No, we're gonna epoxy it and see what happens. It's not worth me dragging out the welder, sitting there spot welding, messing up the paint worse. And you know what I mean. I'm just whining because I don't want to do it the hard way. So, we're gonna go clean all this up with the Dremel and glue that in there. It does tap in there. I mean, you ha it, it was, you see, it's already trying to stick. If you tap it in there, it gets pretty tight. So, we'll be back after we get that epoxy. And then we'll see what we think. We'll give you our thoughts on what's going to happen to it. If it fly, flies apart again. You can talk. You can do this. And this is the back. The butterflies look a little prettier the other way. There'll be a picture at the end when I'm all done anyway. So stay tuned. Okay, we ground this all off. We're, we are going to paint this before we put the bearing on. We can't find any dark green, which we I think we have some. Yeah, now it's not tight. But we will put epoxy on the other side. Hang on here. We will put epoxy so it's on this side too. Okay, focus. You have it on both sides. See, that's our idea. So I don't think it'll come out. Just don't do one side. We're going to do both sides. We just I said we don't feel like trying to weld this. There you go. We'll bring it back and get some epoxy on the thing. Since we can't find any green paint, this is how bad this thing was banged because it fell apart. See where it's all chipped? Okay, back to work. If I can get the camera shut off. These gloves make it kind of hard to work on stuff. Okay, we got a bunch of epoxy. We even went up on top of here because it doesn't matter if it slops over the hole. So it, it can't pull out now. It'll be all right. We're going to let this cure. So we're going to go look for our dark green paint. We have some green paint somewhere. Okay, excuse the fan. This looks black, but it's dark green that's gotten old. And I just grabbed some, I have dark hunter green and regular hunter green. So it was a little bit left in the can. I threw it away. I had to take the top off another one. You don't have to spray at any angle? Yeah. Then they start plugging them at the end and I had to steal the top off. No, I had three cans of green. Get this. There was no tops for them because they plugged them. They're probably over two years old. We'll take a snapshot of the other side. We don't need to flip it over. You know what it looks like. And what the heck. I'm sorry. The other bearing I cannot get out. I'm not going to bang it apart. We're going to put some oil in it. But the bearing on this, we're going to soak in a little thing of oil. In motor oil. So it can get as much oil as it can. And that's as far as we go. And we're going to slap it back together. We'll be done sometime today. Okay, we just poured a bunch of motor oil on it, let it soak. Here's a handy thing, like from the dollar type stores, Dollar Tree. We don't mark on their oil, I have one that says ATF, where I crossed everything out so no one thinks it's syrup or something. They're all right on the bottom of the motor oil. Now, the company needs an automatic transmission fluid wipe because my hydrostatic transmission leaks in the Alice Chalmers, it's got a right in the tube to fill it so I just grabbed that when I 
every once in a while make sure it's full. But there you go. Too much talking on that. We'll just let that soak in there. Then we'll wipe it off so it's not too oily. Because it's just going to collect dirt. Okay, we're ready to put together. We have a lock washer there. This thing spun so bad at one time I was wearing the threads down on that because it wasn't locked. Because that locks against the end of this shaft, the inside of the bearing. We did put some oil on the threads. So here we go. Doesn't that remind him old colorful roulette wheels in the saloon? Round and round she goes. Where she stopped, nobody knows. I don't want to stick my finger in there. The fan will keep it going at a slow speed. One more time, let's let her rip. Yeah, imagine one on the other side. Because I can't show you out in the yard right now. Uh, I have to make another post for in the ground. So there, imagine two of them things spinning. And they compete against each other. One goes the opposite direction. So think about it. One's spinning one way, one starts spinning the other way. And the thing's trying to disintegrate it. It's trying to destroy itself. Who dreamt this stuff up? Anyway, thanks for watching. One more clip. After the pictures, I'll give you about 30 seconds of this thing spinning if you want to see some more of the thing spinning around. If you want some extra footage.